quick study. Six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight. Quick study 3-6, 3-7, and 3-8. So, quick study 3-6, prepaid, deferred, expenses. For each separate case below, follow the three-step process for adjusting the supplies asset account at December 31st. Determine what the current account balance equals. Step two, determine what the current account balance should equal. And three, record the December 31st adjusting entry. Now, all I'm concerned about is doing the journal entry. Okay? So that should allow us to go through this relatively quickly. So, number one, the supplies account has a $300 debit, debit balance. And... At the start of the year, no supplies was purchased during that current year, and on December 31st, the physical count shows $110 of supplies remaining. So automatically, we started off, and we, we can do it this way, it's not a big deal. So automatically, you started off with what balance? So you started off with 300 of supplies, and then what should this account equal? That's step two. 110, because they told you that's what the physical account count of supplies that was left, right? So step three, what is our adjusting entry for this? We debit what, we credit what? Debit what supplies? Supplies expense. For how much? 190 because if we subtract 300 from one, I mean 110 from 300, we get how much? 190. So we're going to debit up supplies expense for 190 and credit what? Supplies. Are you following? What about B? What should supplies equal? Uh, or what is the current balance? $800. $800. You're just reading through the problem. Step two, what should it equal? What's left? What did they say was left? $650. Now, did they purchase anything? Yes. So that means that you're going to do what? When did they purchase it? During the current year. So that means you need to add that 2100 plus what? Three. I mean 800. Right. So 800 plus the 2100, which equals what? 2900. Now, Step three, what's the journal entry? Debit what, credit what? Wouldn't this be two, seven? Nope. We're just doing the adjusting entry. Do not overthink. It's the same stuff over and over again. Debit what and credit what? Debit supplies expense. Credit, supplies. supplies, what's the amount? $2,250. Do we follow? Why? Oh, because we had to subtract the 
right now what should it equal what should it equal 2,660 what's the journal entry to record the adjustment did they purchase anything yeah what did they purchase Nine thousand four hundred. So we need to add that to what? Yeah, Which equals thirteen thousand four hundred. So what do we debit? What do we credit? Supplies, expense. How much? Ten thousand seven hundred. $40. Credit what? Supplies. $10,740. Quick study 3-7. Adjusting prepaid expenses. On July 1st, 2015, local health company paid $1,200 for six months of insurance coverage. No adjustments have been made to the prepaid insurance account, and it is now December 31st, 2015. Prepare journal entries to reflect expiration of the insurance as of December 31st, 2015. So, what day did they purchase this? July 1st. July 1st. And that means that you had how many months remaining? Or if not remain, how many months had expired? Seven. Seven. Six months. Six months. Six months. Does everybody say that or no? Yeah. Yeah. Is it five months? Because we have to include January, I mean, July. Mm -hmm. If you count July, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, what do we do? Debit insurance expense for twelve hundred credit what? Prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance because you're doing what here? You are taking it out of where and putting it because six months had what? B, what has happened? So we're dealing with supplies. What did it start with? Was there any purchases? There were? How much? So we add that, which equals 7,000. Step two, what should the account equal? 800. So that means step three, we have to do a journal entry for debit to what? Supplies expense. Credit to supplies. 
How much? 6,200. Yes? Quick study 3-8. Last one. This is my favorite, accumulated depreciation. <laughs> For each separate case below, follow the three-step the three process for just the accumulated depreciation account at December 31st. So we're going to determine what it equals now, what it should be, and do the adjusting entry. And it says assume no other adjusting entries have been made for the year. So the first instance, accumulated depreciation. The Krug Company's accumulated depreciation account has a balance of what? Thirteen thousand five hundred, and then it says a review of depreciation schedules reveals that fourteen thousand six hundred of depreciation expense must be recorded for the year. Now, my question to you: If we were doing, if we are doing this three-step process, Step one, you told me the balance of the account is what? $13,000. What should it be? $14, it should be $14,600, right? Mm -hmm. um, which means that overall, depreciation, accumulated depreciation should really equal what? Not the difference, but what? $14,600. That's what the balance was at the end of the year. But accumulated depreciation should equal what? What did it start with? Thirteen. What did it end with? So that means overall the entire account should have equaled what? How much? Twenty-eight thousand one hundred. Now, for the journal entry in step three, we're trying to record the fourteen thousand six hundred because that's the expense for this year, right? So, what do we debit? What do we credit? Debit depreciation expense. And credit accumulated depreciation. How much? It gave you the amount. 14600 Now, I know that you are confused about why we add the two. Why did we add? Who knows? Because the thirteen five hundred was at the beginning of the year. The year yes, ma'am. And at the end of the year, each year is supposed to add another fourteen thousand six hundred. Correct. Everybody's clear, right? There was nothing tricky about that. It's stated in the problem, which is why it is so imperative that you read. It's stated in the problem that they started with what. 13500 right? Mm -hmm. And then we still have to account for the depreciation for that year, which is how much? So we have to add that to what was already in that account. So far, you've been dealing with the fact that the account started off with zero. This is the first time one didn't start off with zero. It started off with 13500 So we're still having to add on whatever is the depreciation, which means by the end of the year, December, that accumulated depreciation account should have how much in it? Zero. No. Every year. Answer my question. At the end of this current year, after we do this, accumulated depreciation should have how much in it? 28,100. Because it started off with 13,500. We did our adjusting entry. Now it should have an addition, right, 
of 14,600. Now, number two, accumulated depreciation. The company has only. I'm sorry, I didn't. 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 I didn't
cost minus salvage value divided by useful years. So 32,000 minus 4,000 divided by how many years? Seven years. What's the depreciation amount? Journal entry. Credit what? Accumulated depreciation. What's the asset? Equipment. Four thousand. Right. All right. So. Thank <laughs> you. 